has risen, go and tell. Not only is that good advice for us as individuals, that is great advice for us as a church. Christ is risen, go tell others. We shouldn't be afraid to tell other people about the difference that Christ has made in our lives. We shouldn't be afraid to invite them to a place like this church so they can meet other people who Christ is working in their lives, so they can grow in their faith. You see, the reaction of the women at the empty tomb is twofold. They have fear and they have joy. That's kind of our own reaction, isn't it, when we experience the risen Christ? In the face of uncertainty, in the face of doubt, sometimes we have fear, and sometimes we find comfort and joy. You see, these women were overwhelmed. They were dumbfounded. They were full of awe. They were full of wonder. The angel tells them to go tell the disciples. The fact that we read that this morning, the fact that we're preaching on it all these years later, tells us they did what they were told to do. Tell the disciples to go to Galilee. Jesus will be there and meet them there. You see, we should never forget Jesus promises to go ahead of us and meet us where he tells us to go. So no matter what the future holds for us, whether it's individually or as a church, individually, if the future holds for you a relationship or a job or or a calling because God is leading you somewhere, that's great. As a church, if if it's a new building or a satellite campus or a new partnership to do mission work somewhere in the community, that's great. It doesn't matter what path we're following if it's the path that God has put in front of us because if God has put the path in front of us, we're promised Christ is going to be ahead of us and walking with us every step of the way. And we can never lose sight of that. You know, back to our story from Matthew, Jesus lived up to the promise. He met the disciples there, and then he commissioned them to go and make disciples of all nations. It's called the Great Commission. Here's the deal. The Great Commission is not a suggestion. It's a commandment. We're all supposed to do that. We're all called to share the good news of salvation with the world, inviting others to experience the love and grace of God. Here at Christ Church, We believe community outreach is a vital aspect of fulfilling the Great Commission. You see, that includes helping fight against food insecurity like we've been talking about. That includes providing health and wellness initiatives, education initiatives so people can grow in their faith, providing for people who have experienced disasters in their life. It's actually part of our vision. We call it Mission 101010. That stands for $10 million, 10,000 people over 10 years to to missions and outreach in our community. I'm pleased to share with you that we're four years in and we have done a little over $2.3 million towards that initiative, which is awesome. Here's why it's important. By meeting the practical needs of our neighbors, those ministry avenues give us an opportunity to share the love of Christ.